If you're watching this video, if you're on this channel, you almost certainly have clicked on the link for LittleWarGame.com and then LittleWarGame.com slash play, and you have gotten into the main lobby of Little War Game. Whether you're new and learning how to manage the UI and manage into a game state and improve, or you've been playing for quite a while, you're probably familiar with LittleWarGame.com. However, you may not be familiar with the community aspect of LittleWarGame.com. Yes, there is the YouTube channel that you can see here. Yes, there are other YouTube channels from other community members. Yes, in fact, there is a subreddit. There's also a wiki. But today we're going to talk about the Discord. It's gone through a couple of changes, and I want more people to be involved in the Discord and know that there is a community that extends beyond the main lobby that you see when you go to LittleWarGame.com slash play. If you want to know how to access the Discord, a link will be provided in the description box below. You can also go to the Discord by going up into the top right hand side of the main lobby screen where it says Quick Links and scroll down to where it says Discord. When you do that, you will plop yourself into a, an invisible channel that will then get you access to this channel as it exists now. So we're going to go over these four categories and then the, uh, these four text categories and then the voice category. And we'll start with announcements. If a developer or a moderator or a Little War Game staff member has something that impacts the entire game, it will go under announcements. Uh, look at the people who are involved here. Formerly Zhao, now Glaba. You can see that these are changes that it, it could include a hotfix. It could include a very common solution to an existing problem that gets called up and brought up multiple times elsewhere. It could just be an update like, hey, HTTPS actually works now. Play of game. Okay, all those things will go in announcements. So if you see that lit up, check it out. After that is general. If it doesn't fit elsewhere, as the setting says up here, it goes here. You want to talk about little working, but maybe it doesn't fit into all these other categories we're going to get into, coaching and ranked, or map making, etc. Then it could go in here. Like, there's people talking about the guy with the good food uh, people trying to figure out how to make Uwu show up, talking about camera locations. For some reason, Let's Go Itano is actually in there. But no, no matter what the case may be, right? If it doesn't fit elsewhere, it goes in the general chat. One of the channels that's changed recently, or the sub-channels that have changed recently, is Coaching and Ranked. This used to actually, as I posted here, used to be called Game Discussion. However, that wasn't very clear. So now... Come here if you want to get help getting good, or if you can help others get good. Now, skill is relative, so you may find that you are someone who is being coached, who at, you know, you're at a competent or even a good level, but you're being coached by someone who is better, but then you may turn around and give ranked advice or coaching advice to individuals that are of lower skill than you. If you're new to the Discord, if you are unfamiliar with the Discord, this is an excellent place to go to as a resource to learn more about the game and reach out and talk to other people in the community. Leaving the general channel tab or the general category, we're going to go to feedback. The first channel in feedback is ranked suggestions. Uh, this was changed recently, as I put in a lot note here. It used to be called game discussion, but that was not very clear. So, ranked suggestions is for suggesting balance and design changes to Little War Games ranked gameplay. So, specifically the ranked gameplay. This does not cover mods. Nothing of that sort, and it does not cover features. So, for instance, if you think in the ranked multiplayer, the worker should do less damage, the catapult should have extra movement speed, or a new unit should be added in, all of those things fall under balance, you know, the tweaking of numbers of things that exist, and design, either large-scale design, add a second resource, or smaller scale design, maybe we should add this kind of spellcast or we should add this kind of ability. All of those things can go into ranked suggestions. What's important to note here is that the community member who is most on hands and deals most directly with ranked suggestions is AC, who you can see up here in the developer profile. So he is the person who manages the ranked balance and the ranked design currently for Little War Game. That's his role. So if you post things here, I've seen emojis that go give a thumbs up from him and other people talking about, oh yeah, maybe we could do that. He's also posted in here about his thoughts on AA5. All of those things, if you're interested in them, you want to see what the pulse of the community is, or you want to maybe generate it yourself, you can go to Ranked Suggestions. Next is Player Bug Reports. Sometimes things don't work the way that they're supposed to. Sometimes 
you log into Little Wargame, it's a black screen, or you can't seem to log out, or there seems to be some kind of other issue, or a replay doesn't work. If there is anything that should work in the game that doesn't work in the game, then it should go under Player Bug Reports. Player Bug Reports allows you to let people know what's going on. It also allows some users to suggest solutions to other users for common issues that may be fixing or temporary workarounds. Most importantly, the purpose of Player Bug Reports is to get the attention of developers like Lava or moderators like myself, Natano Circus, and we can see what's going on and see if we can't provide a fix in the case of a, of a developer or a workaround in the case of a moderator, as many of these people, regardless of their role, have been involved in Little Wargame for a long time and may be able to help grease the wheels of your concerns. Moving on, final channel or sub-channel in feedback is going to be feature discussion. This had its name changed somewhat recently, and as I put in a mod note, with the change of the former Suggestions channel into Ranked Suggestions, this channel is now the primary place to discuss the addition of features that are not part of Ranked Balance or Ranked Design for discussing features and changes to the game. So, what is an example of a feature that is not in the Ranked component? It doesn't deal with the Ranked Balance or the Ranked Design. Well, Doomster has a good example. It would be nice if we could see our control groups. And you see some thumbs up from myself, a mod, Glava, a developer, and Pekka, who is a longtime player. This is a good place to mention things that you want to have in the game that don't deal strictly with, you know, a tournament setting. Invictus says, uh, I feel like a featured map pool in various ways uh, would be good uh, would be a good way to get to know the various mods. Things of that nature go into future discussion. So if you have ideas, post them there. If you want to get feedback on other people's suggestions or ways to optimize it, also put it in there. Leaving the feedback section, we go into the creative section. The first sub-channel of the creative section is AI discussion. This was formerly a channel for working on bots, but now AI discussion is for, as it says up here, creation and optimization of little wargame AI for melee and modded maps. So if you want to work with the API and make something that is good on a melee map, like I have a base and workers, you have a base and workers, let's fight each other. Then this is where you can go to learn more about how to do that, express any problems that you run into, and talk about your creative processes you're going through and making it, and any, any trials or tribulations or successes that you've had. Additionally, this is also an AI for modded maps. So let's say that you have made an AI script that allows a boss to attack and then seemingly retreat and to space itself correctly or any number of things that you think that the little wargame AI can be used for, everything from a campaign to a melee map to mods to boss arenas, etc., you can put it in AI discussion. The next section is going to be sprite making, and I mean, this kind of speaks for itself, but just look, like, there's an armory, there's a snake den. If we scroll up, like, Doomster has been making some sprites here. Brutality Warlord has been making some sprites here. If you're making a sprite, if you want to post your sprite, or if you want to ask questions about using your sprite, there you go. This is the place to do it. Just dive in over to sprite making. You can see some of the sprites that are just here, there, and everywhere. It's a wonderful channel. It's a good way to make your maps. If you are a modder, just pop. And if you've never made a sprite before, this is also the place to go to to learn a bit more about that. A more general area for map making uh, under here, under the creative channel. So map making kind of just, it's a bit broad at present, but it hasn't been, ex you know, has yet to be split up. Map making can encompass any aspect of map making. Do you want to make a melee map? Okay, that falls under map making. Do you want to make a mod? That falls under map making. Do you want to make like a 2v2 map? That also falls under a map for ranked you know, or considerations for ranked map play. That also comes here under map making. Uh, there's also a couple of things that are cross-posted from other channels. Right now, people have been talking about, for instance, Pekka says how useful the custom aura colors are that are for indicating things to the player, which was added in version 4.3. All of those things which just fall under map making. And the final section of creative is the content notice board. As it says here, only content is allowed to be posted here. So, for example, if you want to discuss making sprites, discuss specifically, that's sprite making. But if you want to post a video about sprite making, you can post that here and or at sprite making. So if you draw art, if you make uh, streams, if you make YouTube content, like RTS Gamer 28, that is uh, Norm, 
has been posting content here. I've been posting content from the main channel over here as well. That just, if you want to, and Rhinus, who is a longtime mech player and has also posted his Discord, that counts as well. As long as it's little war game related and it is a place to post, not discuss, just post your content, content notice boards where it goes. Leaving off of that, we go to social. So in social, we go to off topic. Off topic is, it's not really about Little Morgan. So that doesn't matter. You still have a place here. So Doopster says, for instance, who else watches Party Stream just to hear him try to spell English? Uh, just to try him read and spell. Let's try that again. Apparently, I can't English. Parting has got nothing on my failures. Who else watches Parting stream just to hear him try to read and spell English? Well, I mean, that has nothing to do with Little War Game, but if you're a fan of StarCraft 2, if you're a fan of Parting, and if you have Doomster's interest or the interest of other people, you can go ahead and get into Off Topic. There is a Dablos channel. Now, that is being cleaned up as of late, but uh, Dablos channel is kind of for interesting posting. We'll leave it at that. Um, it, it has a couple of notices on it that have been put on there by myself and others as a moderator. So, you know, tread cautiously when you go in there. And remember, you know, if you are going into this Discord and if you are choosing to go into Davos, just know that that area is heavily moderated and make sure that you don't tow over the line too much. And then the final area of social and the social category is anime. Uh, apparently people can always fight about whether or not Avatar The Last Airbender is actually an anime, but, uh, you know, it is fight me. <laughs> if you want to talk about it, you can do it here. Um, I think I saw a couple posts over, uh, a couple posts for, uh, Kobayashi-san's Dragon Maid, and then there's Avatar The Last Airbender, and then if it's under anime, it's under there. And finally, we'll get into the voice channels. General, there's no restriction on the people who can join or the number of people who can join. This is just a place for people to converse. If you are playing team games in Little War Game, it might be useful if you're not speaking with your allies at the same time that you're speaking with the opposing team. For that purpose, there are these voice channels of Little War Game Team 1 and Little War Game Team 2. There will also be tournaments in Little War Game, whether or show matches, whether they are held officially or unofficially, you have our support. You can go to Little War Game Casting, and because the channel size is set to four, you can make it so that only you and a couple of others are in there at any one time. Part of that chat restriction is to make sure that you don't get overrun by other people interrupting your stream or doing things of that nature. If you have an event that's ongoing or going to be showing up soon and you want to reserve the use of Little War Game Casting to make sure that you're the only people that can use it, then contact myself, Atomic Circus in game, or any of the other moderators or developers that are here on the Little War Game official Discord, and we will see if we can't make things happen for you. There's also the timeout corner, which is equivalent to AFK or the I don't want you to be here right now corner, and Davos, which again is just kind of like a, a random-ish place to talk, but it doesn't tend to get used much the same way that General does. So there we go. We have the Little War Game official Discord. You've got these channels, General, Feedback, Creative, Social, and Voice, that you can use to interact with people either by text or by voice, and no pressure to use one or the other, but you can see that there's a lot of content that's a lot of uh, availability. There's a lot of people, like look at all of the people. These are just the active people right here that I'm scrolling up and down, not counting all the whole slew of people who have joined the Discord since then. And while if you are a moderator or someone of that capacity, you will see different channels. For you, the person who is joining the Little War Game Discord and community for the first time, I'm so happy to have you around. This is what you would be seeing, and I hope to see you in it.